friends, I'm Miss Carmen from the Fluorable Public Library. I am the Children's Services Coordinator there, and I want to welcome you to our Crafty Kitties program. This is our craft program for kids two to four years old, and today we will be making a paper plate fish. You guys are ready? Now that we're ready to make our paper plate fish, let's review our materials. First, we need a paper plate. We need a pair of scissors, some googly eyes, and remember if you don't have googly eyes at home, you can make your own just by tracing a couple of round items, one bigger and one smaller, to make them a white and blue or whatever colors you want to use. You'll need some glue to glue the googly eyes and some paint. I hope you had all those materials at home. To make your fish, you are going to eyeball, that's the way I do it, the very center of the paper plate and then you're going to cut like a very big slice of pie out of it. And this is how the paper plate fish goes. The body and the tail. Very well. I like to paint my or decorate the fish before I actually attach it because it just makes it easier and you don't have to wait for the glue to dry before you can decorate it. So in this case I'm going to use two colors of paint. Blue and yellow. I'm going to paint the whole body with the blue paint. You guys pick different colors. What colors did you pick? I, I wish I could hear what you're saying, but you know what? You can take pictures of your fish and send them to me so I can look at them. Yes, send them to my email. Very good. So, we're going to paint the whole body and if you're using paints like I am, you're going to probably have to wait for it to dry before you can do the next step. But anyway, I just did a little bit right now and this is pretty much what it is going to look like when you have finished painting it. I had one ready to go and I was um, just saving it for now. So now that it's all dry, I can actually attach the tail. I use glue. You can staple it or tape it, whatever makes it easier for yourself. And I will decorate it with yellow. And there is no right or wrong. You can decorate it with whatever you want. You can decorate it with colors, stickers, you can just paint it. I am using the tip of my paintbrush to do dots on my fish. And once it is done or has as many little dots or spots as you want, you can decorate the tail. I actually did some just, you know, some paint on it. And that is what it will look like before you glue the googly eye. But now we're doing the googly eye. You don't have to wait for the paint to be dry. Just be careful not to get it all over your fingers. But if you do, just wash your hands. That is one way in which you can decorate your fish. Remember, colors, you can use whatever colors you want. And there is other techniques you can use too. I am very um, for tearing paper. Little children, when they tear paper, they get their muscles in their hands stronger. And I have mentioned a few times uh, that strong muscles in the hands help them to write, to cut, to use the scissors for different things. So in this case, this is one I have started, but guess what? I used painter's tape. And 
this is what it looks like when you use painter's tape. I like letting the kids tear painter's tape because they don't get, um, they think it's like cutting stickers and they don't get glue on their fingers when they put them on their project. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Please keep in mind that there is multiple ways to complete the crafts. Just be creative about it. I have had a lot of fun during these past eight weeks. This is our last Crafty Kitties for the summer, but um, we will have new and exciting programs in the fall. Please make sure you stay posted. And if you haven't joined Little Flugers, our Facebook group for kids this age, please do so. Bye everyone.